Now at this point, I need to take a little aside and uh, make sure you guys remember something from uh, your high school chemistry class. And also, um, I'll just tell you, we're going to talk a little bit more about aqueous solutions in the next unit. But now, there's something important that I need to tell you. And that is, remember, the state symbol AQ indicates that that, that particular substance is dissolved in water. Okay? AQ indicates dissolved in water. Um, <clears throat> And the other thing you have to remember is if that something that's dissolved in water is an ionic compound, um, that means that an ionic compound, when it dissolves, it separates into its ions. And the ions are what we call mobile, or that you have a mobile charge in solution. And that's very, very important in a lot of different um, situations in chemistry. Um, and so uh, what we'll see sometimes here, let me just show you what I'm talking about for a second. Um, if you have, for example, um, Let's see here. If, if you have sodium chloride solid, the state symbol is solid, um, then what you recognize is that that particular compound is in its solid form. And for sodium chloride, it's and for all ionic compounds, you have a, a three-dimensional crystal of sodium ions surrounded by chloride ions, surrounded by sodium ions, surrounded by chloride ions, in a one-to-one -one ratio of the ions. That's what that formula unit is telling us, okay? And so it's this big crystal. Um, well, not necessarily big, but it is a crystal. And um, you have uh, sodium ions and chloride ions surrounding each other. All right? Whenever um, you see this, sodium chloride aqueous, the AQ is telling you that that particular compound, and in this case it's an ionic compound, is dissolved in water. And when it's dissolved in water, what you should be thinking is, um, the sodium and chloride are no, no longer fixed in positions in a crystal, but rather um, when you plunk that crystal into water, what immediately starts happening to that crystal is that the sodium and the chloride ions on the surface of the crystal as it works down and it dissolves um, are sort of pulled into solution and are floating around in solution surrounded by water molecules. And we'll get into this a bit later when we talk more about water. But um, for now, I need you to know that what the chemist knows and what they think and what they see when they see um, an ionic compound with AQ next to it, they know it's dissolved in water and that it's not existing um, as, you know, pairs of sodium and chloride ions, but the sodium ions and the chloride ions are free, moving around, mobile, moving around, you know, surrounded by water everywhere um, in solution, okay? So that's a real important concept. And... Um, the reason why, and, and to emphasize this, I need to tell you that um, a lot of times we write redox reactions in terms of the ionic or anionic reaction because the reason why they do that is because um, they're just emphasizing what's participating in the redox reaction. And so sometimes um, certain species do not participate in uh, oxidation reduction as we have seen. And so in that case, there are a lot of times they're left out of the redox reaction. And I don't want that kind of... Um, way of writing things down to confuse you. So let's take another look um, at a previous example and I'm going to review with you very quickly how we would represent this particular example that we've already looked at in terms of um, uh, just showing it as the ions, what we call the, the um, ionic uh, reaction or the uh, net ionic reaction. Okay, and so what you do, we've already uh, recognized you know, what's undergoing um, reduction and what's undergoing oxidation, or excuse me, what's undergoing oxidation and what's undergoing reduction here. And um, previously, we've noted all of the oxidation numbers. Now, take a closer look here. The sodium bromide is aqueous, so it's dissolved. So, if I want to write it like how the chemist really thinks about it, um, I would recognize that these ions are separated in solution. So, I, really, I have two sodium ions in solution plus two bromide ions in solution. That's what the AQ tells us plus the chlorine gas bubbling around in that solution, plus, but it's still in the form of the gas, plus two sodium ions floating around, plus some two chloride ions floating around, plus now some bromine liquid that has been um, formed across the reaction. All right, so this is all aqueous, 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 they're all floating around. And now you take a step back and you look at this reaction like, hey, you know, what's changing here is the bromide ion is going to bromine, elemental bromine, whoops, two, and the chlorine gas is going to chloride ion, okay? And the sodium is not changing. So the species that don't change, those are just called spectator ions, 
And a lot of times what people will do is they'll write the net equation down, they'll leave off the spectator ions, it's the exact same thing on both sides, and they'll focus on what's really important in this reaction, which is what's changing. Okay? And when you write it like this, this is called the net ionic equation, we can very easily see how the oxidation numbers have changed and what's undergoing um, oxidation and what's undergoing reduction. So a lot of times you'll see redox reactions written this way, and it's just, it's just kind of by convention because it's what you're focusing on. Okay. Now look at this one again. This is the example we did on the last page where we noticed um, in this case that there was no change in oxidation uh, state across this particular chemical change. And so in this case, um, remember, if we see aqueous, aqueous, solid, aqueous, aqueous, what we want to do is write it down, and it's a sodium ion floating around in water, plus a chloride ion floating around in water, plus a silver ion floating around in water, plus a nitrate anion floating around in water. Um, and on the other side, you have AgCl. That's the solid. And then the other salt... Um, so, sorry. The other salt is the sodium aqueous plus uh, also floating around in water, sodium and nitrates. Okay, and what you see here is the, uh, what has not changed? Sodium is the same on both sides. Um, nitrate is the same on both sides. Those are all spectator ions. What has changed here is the silver chloride ions come together to form silver chlor chloride solid. All right, you got your ions floating around. This is called, again, the net ionic equation. This is what we call a precipitation reaction, but there's no uh, transfer of electrons. 